We'll be using this thread in the Ford Trucks form to download and activate Forescan. Uh, to start, there's three main steps. The first step, as you'll see here, is registering for the form. Um, so we'll register for the form. After we register for the form, an email will be sent to us from Forescan, letting us know that we uh, that they got our submittal to be part of the form, and we'll be waiting for this activation email. After we get the activation email, um, well, in the meantime, we'll be downloading Forescan. You can click the link there or click the link um, below. Um, we'll download Forescan and we'll be copying the hardware ID found underneath the question mark icon uh, in the Forescan uh, that we download. And once we uh, copy that hardware ID and we get um, the activation email, we will um, generate an extended license um, in the Forescan form. But that will need to be after um, we get the confirmation from Forescan um, that we can log in. So I'll show you how that works here real quick. We'll register for the form, put in all your information, and again, you'll get those, that email, those two emails that I, that I sent you. You'll get the first one, then uh, a few hours later, hopefully you'll get the activation email. Um, then you will download Forescan. So you can download Forescan from Windows by clicking on that first, the first link. Once you download Forescan, you open it up, click the question mark icon, and there will be a hardware ID um, somewhere on the screen. I already uh, copied my hard hardware um, ID and plugged it into Forescan, um, so I don't have that up there anymore. So you'll copy that hardware ID, then once you have the activation email, you'll log in with your credentials. You'll put in your information. Then that, that hardware ID that you copied, you'll put it in there. Um, then that will generate the license. Then once you generate the license, you can go in and uh, start making changes to your truck, as we'll show you here in a second. First, make sure you have this OBD2 connector, ELM config. The link to this will be in the bio. Um, and you'll notice this, one, this has a switch left and the right. Um, we're going to want it to be on the right side, so pointing that way when it's plugged into the vehicle. So we're going to plug this into the OBD2 port under the dash. And after we plug it in, we're going to go onto our computer. It has to be a P PC computer. Click on the Forescan app that you downloaded. And you'll see it's pulling up the vehicle data right away. Um, so we'll wait until it says vehicle is connected. Once the vehicle is connected, go to this blue diamond. Then we're going to go to blue diamond. Then I kind of jumped ahead, but you'll go to IPC as built format. So you click on that. It's already open for me, but you'd press play if it wasn't opening for you. Then we're going to change this the 720-0301. We're going to change these three digits, the 5, the 0, and the 7. We're going to change it to 8DF. 8. And Delta Frank. We're going to write. And as you'll see here, we have 417 miles to, um, miles to empty. And after we click yes on here, we turn the ignition off and back on. You'll see that we now have 725. So it was um, the code was successful. And after that, you're done. Uh, you can unplug your OBD2 connector, and um, you're done. Then, if you do have our 68 gallon SMB tank, check out for the codes um, uh, below here as well. And then uh, we will show you the uh, characters and where to enter the characters as well. Thank you.